GVN gang, welcome back, welcome back. Yesterday's vlog, not the greatest. I missed out a lot of content just because my battery died. I didn't really have a chance to capture everything. I think I was trying to record some other things as well and they were in slow motion instead of in 25 FPS. So I, yeah, I've struggled on that front, but this vlog will be much better than yesterday. I'm sort of uploading that last vlog because it was my favorite day, but I didn't get everything that I wanted. I don't know. It's, it's a bit of a toss up, but it's, it's okay. Day three is today. Very excited. It's going to be a pretty action packed one. I think it's Khaled, Zed, Pusha T, YG, Playboy Cardi. There's other people there as well. I don't know if I'll have time to run around to each stage. Obviously there's a lot of people there, so it's, like, it's impossible to get to one stage and then to another stage instantly it's it's not it's not feasible so we're gonna see what we can do i have to go to ross and pick up a shirt i i don't really have any shirts i i, I thought i was more prepared but i'm really not, i'm really not this is sort of off a whim i think coachella was not planned fully but i'm glad i'm glad i chose to come here i'm glad i chose to come here to be honest and um basically from here yeah we have to go to ross and then from Ross, we will head straight to Coachella. And then I'll be able to record more for you there. Obviously, I'm gonna record every step of the way this time, not like last time. So stay tuned. Change of plan, we're going to straight to Coachella from our apartment. I had a spare shirt that I just had to quickly wash, get, get some stains out of it before I, before I obviously left with it. But it's drying now, that's why I'm still in the same shirt I was in before. But we're driving straight to Coachella from here. I think it's already like 10 to 12, so we're pretty late. We're pretty late, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out and we will get going. So we're about I don't know, probably like 50, 55 minutes out from Coachella now. I just wanted to sort of ask some questions. So, firstly, why does the GPS take me through the mountains and then on a highway and then through the desert each day? Like, every single day I've done a different route. So let me know in the comments. I don't, I don't know why, but it just seems a bit strange. I don't know if it's redirection because the traffic's busy or whatnot, but yeah. I just want to take the time to talk about the last two days of Coachella. Um, it's been really crazy. Every performance that I've watched personally, I've really enjoyed. And I think being out here in comparison to Australia, you get a lot more experience. I feel like the stages are set up properly and all that type of stuff. I've never seen a set up stage the way they did for the rappers and stuff like that. It, it doesn't happen in Australia, to be honest. It's just like a flat ground and they just run around and, and just sing. That that's. That's how it is in Australia. It's never, it's never set up the way I like it. But so Juice World, for example, um, his whole, his whole stage is covered. I remember seeing the Slurpee, the Slurpee band, the car from Death Race for Love, like the, the starting part, and just a whole band, like an orchestra. He has like security guards, like all these people just doing dances and shit like that. That's, it's out of this world for something that I've seen personally, I've never seen anything like that and similar to like Rift to Soul as well, having having the pads that he was hitting with a drumstick, that's pretty mad too, but like every single act I've seen has had like an orchestra of performers, like Wiz Khalifa for example as well, he had, I don't even know, he had like two pianists, two DJs, I'm pretty sure there were some vocalists somewhere, I don't know, but it's crazy, it was crazy and um, I'm hoping that Khaled and all that type of stuff is the same. I assume it's going to be a little bit bigger, in my opinion. I think Khaled is a lot bigger of an artist than the likes of Wiz Khalifa now. Obviously, Wiz Khalifa was a bigger artist, but he's starting to he's starting to drop off. But yeah, we're about we're about 45 minutes out. We haven't got a long way to go, but hopefully today is as interesting as yesterday and the day before. Everyone's so nice. I feel like America. When you go to America. I don't know, Australians seem to get along with everyone, it doesn't matter, like, <laughs> it doesn't matter what nationality it is, it's, you get along with everyone, I've, I've spoken to American people, I mean, I, I don't know who else, I, I don't know the nationalities, but there was, there was a few more, but everyone's just so nice here, it's, it's just a really refreshing change, because I know in Australia, if you walk past somebody, they ain't going to say two shits to you, they're just going to walk past you and be like, silence. <laughs> 
that literal silence, that's it. But yeah, I, I can't speak enough about how much I love America in terms of like the atmosphere of, and people. So thank you for the people that have said hello to me, even though it hasn't been very many people, it still, still makes me feel cool. Day three of Coachella. Um, the festival's almost over. We've got a couple of acts to see and that's that's gonna wrap up what we've experienced so far. I feel like it's been a fucking awesome experience and I don't want it to end, but everything has to come to an end eventually. Um, basically Khalid, YG, Playboy Cardi, all that type of stuff is here. And then, yeah, we are gonna get up to a few more things. Universal and all that stuff is coming, so stay tuned, guys. I can't see, all right? I got sunglasses on, it's, it's, it's hard. Why don't you yeah. put them in your... Yeah, we just passed oh. some people up. I thought they was wearing orange. I forgot I had red glasses. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're wearing orange. And everybody looked at me like... <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, yeah, just that. take off the red sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> So did you get it in yesterday or no? Yeah. So you I came, I you did get it yesterday? yesterday. Yeah. yeah, okay. I just sat my fanny pack and my camera on the table. Yeah. And I just unzipped everything so he could already check. And yeah. I just it over. And I just picked it up all together and I walked <laughs> out. And I started, you know, putting my stuff I try and not like, yeah, I try and not mention it. Like I try yeah. and just, just focus and just yeah, get just straight through. Oh, I bought you. All right, after dodging multiple security guards <laughs> and trying to get this fucking camera in with the tripod, I got it in. We're all good. We're all good to go. I've had a bit to drink. I don't care if people see me vlogging anymore. I pr probably should drink more often when I'm vlogging. <laughs> I feel like I'm just more confident and I don't need to worry about anybody else. But that's we're here day idea. three. What are you trying to say? I said that's a good idea. Yeah. Just have vodka every day. I mean, <laughs> why not do that? But yeah, um, we're here day three. It's going to be awesome. Going to go on a few rides. Going to go on a few experiences that we didn't go on yesterday or the day before. But once we do that, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fucking awesome. We're just trying to explore right now. I think, yeah, we, we don't have much time, so we're trying to get everything in as quick as possible. There's so much art here, there's so much shit to see. We wanna get as many photos as possible. Obviously, I wanna be Instagram famous, so we have to we have to grab the <laughs> we have to go for the art and all that type of shit. But once we've done that, obviously we'll see all the concerts and stuff like that. But I think we have two hours, I think it's two hours left to try and power out every single photo that we need. I think I have both my outfits in my bag so I'm gonna do like outfit two outfit three and just try and interchange them and see how we go so we're just running around now trying to find everything we can do in a small amount of time I mean it's, it's fucking impossible to get everything done in one day we're gonna try to do it but the place is insane everyone's so nice it's fucking insane here. it's really really awesome 2020 Coachella 2020 I'm definitely coming back VIP this time I think VIP, for sure. It's impossible to take photos without people being in the photo, because everybody here is literally taking photos. I'm trying to put photos now. Everyone is everywhere trying to take photos as quick as possible. I don't know. I look like a dud in every photo, but you gotta take photos like this. When you're here, you can't not take Instagram photos. It's, it's impossible not to, so. That's what I'm trying to power out really, really quickly, and I, I think we have maybe like an hour before our sets start, so we're going to check out everything else because there's a fuckload of shit here that we haven't seen. Um, but besides that, yeah, we're just powering out every single photo we can.
get everything done. We're gonna go to the Rose Garden. Personally, I'm not, not the biggest fan. I mean, it's a fucking Rose Garden. Who hasn't seen this shit before? But we'll go there, we'll have a look. I think there's a lot, a lot we've missed. A lot we've missed throughout the whole trip around Coachella, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what there is. Hopefully there's drinks because there's not drinks in many places. Like I, I barely find drinks anywhere. Not here, not over there, but we'll see how we go. So the Rose Garden's VIP only. Um, we're plebs at the moment. Next year we won't be plebs, but this year we are plebs, so can't get into the Rose Garden. So we're gonna go grab some food, grab some merch, and just see what else there is to see. And if we miss anything else, then fuck me. What do we do? So a bit of change of plans. Nicole's gonna wait in the merchandise line. I'm gonna go see Playboy Cardi because I don't want to miss this set. I love his songs. I love his shit. So she doesn't know many of his songs. So I'm gonna not worry about him. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about waiting in line for merchandise. I don't really give a fuck about merchandise to be honest. So we'll go check out Playboy Cardi because it's gonna be crazy. Just went to Playboy Cardi set, absolutely insane. I think there was a mosh pit in like every single part of the stage, to be honest, so insane. Um, curious to see how Zed goes. I think their sets are gonna be much better set than everybody else's, to be honest. I think Zed, Khaled, all that type of shit, they're gonna have crazy stuff there, so be interested to see how they go. Um, but yeah, we're going there now. I think we'll try and get a few more things in, but we'll see how we go. I don't, I don't think we'll be able to get anything in, but who knows. so fucking quickly I can't even keep up it feels like one day it's been three I got my lemonade I'm pretty happy but uh, it's gonna it's gonna suck leaving this place it really is it's, it's been amazing so we'll see how that goes I think it's gonna be really really fucking good really really good so America, they have these buttons on the on the actual key and you can click it and it will tell you exactly where the fucking car is so I can hear all these all these ones <laughs> And guys, we're finally home back from a long drive. I think it was two and a half hours to get back here. I think it's 4 a.m. now, so I'm struggling and falling asleep at the same time to film this outro, but I needed to do it, I needed to get it out. So awesome, awesome weekend, awesome day as well. Went to play with Cardi, massive amounts of mosh pits everywhere, which was awesome. Then I went to Zed. Zed was awesome, he had a lesser car and 
the chick that sings Meet Me in the Middle. I don't know the, I don't know the, the name of the chick. I'm not going to even try. And then Caleb brought out Ty Dolla Sign and uh, Black. And then Ariana Grande, I mean, just just happens to pull out Justin Bieber. Why not? Why not do that? But today was crazy. Um, there was a few things that I saw that weren't the best. So we're in the we were in the crowd for Khaled, um, waiting for Khaled's from Zed's performance, and some chick was trying to get she was trying to get out of the crowd, and she's like, "Excuse me," and then just passed out, and literally her lips went blue. It it was it was really scary. So I don't think I've ever been more scared in my life to see somebody do that. And then there was another guy who literally collapsed next to me, and then there was another chick that was sitting on the ground resting her legs and then she sat up and started screaming i was like whoa what what's going on here it's a bit excessive but uh, i don't know apparently she was having anxiety attack or something panic attack i'm not too sure but i think that was all in the spam of a very short amount of time i'm not gonna lie it wasn't a very long time that that happened in and yeah it, it, it's been a crazy day it's it's been nuts trying to get to the car alone took like half an hour to get there but it was really, it was really fun. I, I wouldn't have changed any of it. I think the experience for me was awesome. And it, it just shows me that I do want to come back here. And I just love the atmosphere of American culture, to be honest. It's really, really nice. So it's been good. Um, but I have, I'll have to end it there. I need to edit this video tomorrow. I'm so tired. I just need to sleep. So I'm going to go now, guys. Um, thank you for watching the vlog. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next video. GVN, play that back, boy.